right, so I wanted to do a Dragon's Breath update on my Dragon's Breath plant. Now, I started the Dragon's Breath all the way back in... When did I start that? Should be written down here. 10-24-2018. So I started this in the end of October of last year. And we're just coming into its, its vegetative growth state now. It really, really went through really hardcore transfer shock as well as transplant shock. So it went through both shocks. Transfer shock is when you're bringing it from indoors to outdoors. And transplant shock is when you're planting it in a new pot and it goes through another shock. So it went through both shocks and boy did that cost me some time. I probably I probably lost maybe a month and a half to two months of growing. It just literally almost died. It lost all its leaves. There was nothing but a stick. And I pretty much almost lost my all my plants were doing that. So I, I really was a little upset with the fact that the transfer shock was so bad. So anyway, here it is. And it's doing well. It's coming out nicely. Nice fresh leaves are coming up. It dropped all the leaves that it had before. And now it's starting to branch off. So... This is it here. It's doing very nicely. And we also have one here. This is a little one. This one was stunted right out the gate. It was always that way and it almost died, but now it seems to be coming back a little bit. It may not produce fruit necessarily this year, but I'm going to bring it in anyway for the winter. And if it stays small, that's a good thing for me because I really don't want to bring in the large plants anymore. They're just too messy and they take up too much room and everything. So here's the third one. And this is about the biggest one of them all right now. And this one here has split off already. And it's starting to split again. And that's a good sign. That means it's going to bush out at a very small stage. So hopefully by the time it's up to here, the thing is going to be just as wide as it is tall. And you can see some of the old leaves are still left on it. And they were really really in bad shape this plant i really rushed it this year I, I shouldn't have done that but yeah i just needed to get the plants out they've been indoors since october of last year and and i was just pushing them to get them out and you know you paid a price for doing that i probably should have just left them alone but that's the three dragon's breath plants that i have and uh hopefully uh, we get some decent fruit out of them this year and when we're ready to do a pod review we will bring you back. All right, so that was just a quick update on that pepper right there called the Dragon's Breath. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.